Oh, it looks good. Very nice. I think that's going to be a good one. cheese. We have some apple pellets that we are warming up right now and we're getting all the cheese blocks so we've got extra sharp cheddar which I really like the extra sharp when smoking. Um, this has that harder harder uh, texture and all and I, I think the smoke just really does good with it. A little bit softer cheese here. We got pepper jack that has that little spice to it, which is nice. So these blocks actually, so I've got Monterey, Monterey Jack. These are just the cheap Kroger or great value at Walmart. $2 a block. I got Swiss, a couple Swisses, a large pepper jack as well as a um, small block. And then I've got two of the Gouda cheeses. And then we have two of the extra sharp larger ones. Why does that look smaller? Wow, did I get ripped off? Is that weird? That seems weird to me. I feel like I may have got ripped off a little bit. Or it's compressed with that line there, maybe it who knows? Maybe it's the altitude. Alright, so for these big ones, I'm gonna just go ahead, instead of doing two, I'm gonna cut it into threes. That's just gonna get a little extra smoke on there. This is the easiest thing to do. So once we smoke this, I've got this smoker tube going. I'll show it to you in a second. I think I showed this on a video in the past. But for those who may not have seen that one, you just take these cheeses and put it in the grill. It is cold outside today. It's like, um, I think we're up to 60 degrees. It's about one o'clock and it's, 59 degrees outside right now. So my understanding is I think all these cheeses, even the soft ones, need, need to have it below below 80 outside for sure. I think it's even better below 70, I believe it is. I'll have to double check to see what the melting temperature. Each of these probably are a little different. But the cold smoke does even give off a little bit of heat. I actually... Uh, had happened last time we had the cheese too close to the smoker tube and that heat actually melted some of the sides of it just a little bit it's still good but um we're gonna make sure we keep this away from that smoker tube and again it's one o'clock temperature high will probably reach around three o'clock here and then Probably get down. It was down to 19 degrees, or you know, I got down to 18 degrees this morning before it started going back up. It's a lot of cheese, but this stuff will save forever, a long time. So anyway, we put in the smoker. I have usually last couple times I've been doing two smoker tubes worth. It's already been smoking about 10% of the tube right now, so it's already got a little bit going. Let's see, we got Monterey Jack. Oh, we only have one Swiss, and that's a. Let's go ahead and put that on the end here. 
I'm just gonna stack these like that. Okay, just like that. Lots of trash. Um, put it on there for like six hours, and that's about what one tube worth will will smoke. And then switch it out the tube, turn all these over, and do another six hours or so, give or take. And then um, we're gonna bring it in, wrap it in butcher paper, let it sit overnight in the fridge, 24 hours, and then tomorrow we'll spend half hour and vacuum seal um, all this cheese. And then you can freeze it. Um, but being that, and then what you do is after you vacuum seal it, you let it sit for like two weeks. That's the trick. So all this is I learned from a friend, and it works. I'll never buy smoked cheese from the store again for triple the cost of cheese um, because you could do this so easy at home and the pellets are super cheap and this smoker too is really cheap found it on amazon i'll have to double check on the price but i know it's under 30 bucks probably like 15 bucks something like that it's been a while i've had it for a while so i don't remember okay basic grill. This is the Weber grill. I've had it forever. Let me go ahead and just start this right here. So this will just smoke up the whole thing. And we're done. Look at that. How easy was that? Literally, if I wasn't talking, it'd probably take me two minutes to, to set this up. Two minutes to start the smoker and two minutes to get the cheese ready. And that's it. So... The first time we did the cheese, I think we had more of the fruit type of um, pellets. So good. And the second time, it was still good, but it was a little smokier, like a little deeper smoke. So I'm going with the apple. Oh, it's not just apple. It is a mixed apple and cherry mix on the pellets for that fruit taste. So I think with cheese, it should de be awesome. I can't wait. So, all right. So we'll check back. Um, I'm just gonna let it sit for the next five hours. And then we'll check, see how it is, and do our rotation. All right, it's about eight o'clock. We got two smokes going on. Second one's almost done, it's hard to see. But I think we've got plenty. We're going to bed, so we're going to wrap this up real quick. It looks good. Very nice. I think that's going to be a good one. All right, we're just going to wrap this in butcher paper real quick. Smells good. Yeah, that's the um, apple and cherry pellets. So I'm just gonna tape this up, throw it in the fridge. Twenty four, huh? Is she outside? Yeah. Twenty four hours. So I'm going to. Twenty four hours from now, we'll be gone. So we may go an extra morning. That's okay. And then we're going to. Vacuum seal it. Put that here. Cheese wrapped in butcher paper. Tons of cheese. That's a lot. We vacuum seal about maybe four or five packages, mixed flavors in there. 
and that lasts a while. So we did a video a while ago and we we're down to our last one and so I want to do more. So it may have been five months ago. So it'll last a while. We like cheese. We like cheese and crackers. So this is a, this will be good. Put it in the fridge. Wait a, a day, day and a half. Until then, good night. Look at all this cheese. So two days in butcher paper in the fridge. A little bit clean, we got some Swiss here. That's a nice pepper jack. Uh, sure. And then we got some cheese. And you can see where one side I did do a more smoke than when I flipped it. But it actually is beautiful. It looks really good. A lot of sharp cheddar. And then a little bit of pepper jack. I like the pepper jack too. Oh, and then we have Munster. Munster? Nice. All right, my hands are clean, don't worry. <laughs> I'm touching a couple of them to look at them. Okay. And we're vacuum sealing it. And these will be good in two weeks. Okay. That's it. Do you want one more? I mean bags. Um, I mean, my bag's too neat. 